Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, as we finish up worship this weekend of June 21st, a couple of announcements for you. The first is that we'll have coffee hour Sunday at 11 a.m. If you're watching this early enough, please join us for that on Zoom. Have an opportunity to have some fellowship with one another and just check in together. This coming week, we'll continue to have daily prayers, Tuesday morning at 10 a.m., Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Both of those will take place, weather permitting, outside the columbarium up in the cemetery. There's parking up at the top of the loop if you'd like to join us up there. It will also be on Zoom, so you can feel free to just join us at home if you're still not comfortable coming out. Uh, but that's been a short 10 to 15 minute prayer service that's been deeply meaningful for me and for those who've been there. So I hope that you can join us for that. The psalm for this coming week is Psalm 73. We won't be having Bible study this Wednesday morning, this week or next week, uh, but you're invited to dwell in this psalm in the week to come anyway. We'll have a guest preacher this coming Sunday, a good friend of mine, Stephen Rodriguez, who's a pastor up near Rochester, friend from college and seminary. It's a great sermon. I've actually already heard it, so I won't give any spoilers, but uh, join us this sun coming Sunday for a great sermon on Psalm 73 and the importance of lament and prayer in this cultural moment of not just coronavirus, but George Floyd and protesting. So join us this coming Sunday. This week, Wednesday, we have a hymn sing. It's going to be at 7.30, a little later than these last few have been. We'll push it back to get it out of the dinner hour. But I hope that you can join us, wrclive.org or on Facebook Live, to join together our hearts in song. A couple other things just about the weeks to come as well. July 12th, we will have another communion service on Zoom at 11 a.m., um, presumably after you've gone through the home worship stuff yourself. So mark your calendars for that and get ready. And then on July 19th, we're taking another step together. We're going to experiment with an outdoor service. So we'll just have one special outdoor service July 19th. We hope that you can join us. It'll be 9.30 in the morning. We will have some sort of video content from that available for those who'd like to stay home as well. And we're just giving this a shot to see how it goes, how we weigh the desire of some to come back together with how that affects the worship experience of those who want to stay home, to think about how we can best continue to love each other, how we can best be faithful to God, how we can live out our purpose of worshiping God, making disciples of Jesus and living missionally, even in the midst of the restrictions to be safe in the world around us. So I hope you can make it to that. Mark your calendars now and get ready. We'll get your feedback after that as well about how you think it went. Um, so get ready. In the week to come, continue to love God and love your neighbor. Continue to seek out ways to live out steadfast love, mercy, to live out truth and faithfulness, to live out righteousness in your relationships with all people, and to live out peace and shalom. Seek the kingdom of God, friends, and make it real in the world. May the Lord be with you.